Hello. Welcome to the first episode of my play solo playthrough, it's, that's a solo game, of the game Wicked Congrena Cong Congregation, Congregation, a Bureau of Paranatural Survey solo adventure written by Daniel Kwan. Uh, the link to the solo game will be in um, the description, as will the music that you can hear right now. Uh, this music is from my good friend, um, and I will have a link to that also in the description. Um, so this work is based on The Wretched, which is a game by Chris Bissett and Loot the Room. Um, oh, The Wretched is a trademark of Chris Bissett, okay. <sighs> Wretched Alone logo, okay. Uh, this was written by Daniel Kwan, special thanks to Agatha Chang and Jamila Najati. Um, for viewers like you. Alright, that's a... Uh, safety content warning. Wicked Congregation is a solo game experience about being hunted by, super, by a supernatural cult. When playing, the following themes are covered during play. Religious violence, body horror, paramilitary activity, death, descriptions of death, injury, hopelessness, physical injury, and psychological trauma. If a narrative prompt features in a theme that features... features a theme that features a theme that you do not want to engage with... Uh, there's a typo. Uh... Consider doing one of the following, go to the next one, draw a new card, or make a pull from the tower and move on to the next day. Um, so I will say, I will try to give content warnings about what uh, is particular to that day. Um, um, but I might miss something, so this is kind of a... I'll, try, I'll do this content warning at the beginning of every uh, episode before I get into it. Um, Wicked Congregation is a solo game about isolation, survival, and hopelessness. It was inspired by The Wretched by Chris Bissett and, and the BPRD Plague of Frogs story cycle by Mike Mignola. Also inspired by the following films, The Crazies, 1973 and 2010, Slither, 2006, SCP Overlord, 2020, uh, video games like Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, Far Cry 5, and Control, which is such a good game. Um, I, me, am a field agent of the Bureau of Paranatural Survey, BPS, a clandestine agency formed for a single purpose to seek explore and contain strange phenomena or entities that exhibit or have the potential to cause harm to human life and civilization my team was sent out on a, set out to a remote mountain town redacted to investigate the mysterious activities of redacted the charismatic and powerful leader of the deadly esoteric cult known as the new temple of bliss my intelligence suggested the redacted was in possession of redacted class paranatural object the mission was simple establish containment of the town and identity identify engage and subdue any paranatural phenomena due to the nature of the operation direct vehicle vehicular entry was not an option when our team arrived the town appeared to be abandoned when the church bells rang began to toll drawing your team towards the chapel it was there you encountered the new temple of bliss and the powerful object their leader wielded as as my team is quickly overrun by followers of the cult i managed to narrowly escape with my life and the object I am now hunted by the cult day and night. They stalk the streets of the town looking for me and what I have taken from them. They will not stop, and I'm running out of time. Uh, the following items are required to play the game. I got a standard D6. A, sta a standard deck of cards. A standard deck of cards. Oh! I take two cards of damage. Uh, that means my eye, really. Uh, without jokers, a single six-sided die. A tumbling block tower, which I do not have, so I'm using uh, one of the variations, which, once again, I will post on in the link. Uh, which it mentions in I'm using the nine token system because I don't have a Jenga tower uh, 12 tokens uh, 12 other tokens because uh, these are the, the, the quarters are the tower tokens and then the, I have other ones so I have 10 pennies and 2 dimes as my 10 and 2 uh, and like oh, you can't see it I used a variation redacted redacted uh this mission was doomed from the moment I stepped foot in the town. I'll never have enough bullets to get the job done on your own. The only way to survive against the cult, calling for backup. The aces of clubs and diamonds will prolong your life, but it is the ace of hearts that is required to survive. By drawing the ace of hearts, you are able to potentially call for help. If you can survive long enough to get a signal. Failure takes many forms and is far more likely to occur. You know the risks when you join the Bureau of Paranatural Survey. Okay. I set up. I have my tokens. Roll D6 to remove that many tokens blocks from the tower and replace them on the top row. Start from the state of the operation. If the tower falls at any time, the operation fails. You are dead. The game is over. Uh, this might be the hands of the cult. Current natural object you possess or something else in the turn. Shuffle the deck of cards and place it face down within reach. Got it. 
Uh, for the... Okay, so... So, I'm recording each episode, essentially. Record your first case file supplement. If the Bureau ever finds you dead or alive, you'll need any intelligence they can to combat the cult and make additional attempts to secure the object. This can be completed through an audio recording or in a journal. Which this is. Uh, so, I will... So, the, the day is always playing though. This game is divided into days, each one is represented by two phases, operation tasks and case file supplement. Repeat the structure until you are saved or the operation fails. Phase one, operation tasks. Roll a d6 and draw that number of cards, placing them face down in front of you. Turn over the first card and consult the operations manual. Follow the instructions associated with the card. Repeat the process for the rest of the cards drawn during the day. When your operation tasks are complete, discard the cards you've drawn unless you've been instructed otherwise in the operations manual. Phase 2, Case File Supplement. Take a moment to consider the events that transpired during the Operation Task Phase. Reflect on how you're feeling and what you've learned about the Bureau, Object, Town, or Cult. Then record your Case File Supplement for the day. I'm just going to kind of do it as... Uh, consult the Operation Manual every time I draw a card. Uh, Alright. Uh, phase from the time of time signal change. Hearts represent the Bureau of Perinatal Survey. Your progress, progressional connections, personal relationships, and emotional truths associated with the dangerous work you do. When you draw a heart card, you must reflect on the emotional and psychological toll work working for the Bureau has taken on you. Diamonds, the object. Diamonds represent the perinatal object you've taken from the cult. It has the power to alter, to corrupt, to information is secure for the Bureau, but it has an agenda of its own. When you draw a diamond card, you are faced with the reality of the powerful perinatal object you must contain. It will have physical and psychological effects on you. Clubs. The town. Clubs represent the town that you cannot escape. When you draw a club card, you might learn something new about your surroundings, witness the horrific activities of the cult, and if you're lucky, discover the resources that aid you to survive ever. Spades! Oh. Oh. Spades represents the wicked congregation that hunts you. You've, you've taken something from their leader, and they will stop at nothing to retrieve it. From the toll of violence to the stress of survival, the followers of the Temple of Bliss will have a profound effect on you if, if you are trapped in the town. When you draw a spade card, you will face the members of the wicked congregation. Oh yeah! Okay. So all that lead up. Get a drink of water real quick. Day 1. Bureau of Paranatural Survey Advanced Response Division. Field Agent Alexander Lederick reporting. The other members of my task force are dead. Three of diamonds. In a moment of weakness, you allow the will of the object to take over. What what did it make you do? What permanent effect does it have on you? Oh, and I know that's going to be kind of confusing just because I have to result in consult. Okay, when I roll, instead of pulling from the tower automatically, I roll a die. If I get higher, so I'm going to roll. Woo, that was close. Okay, I do not have to pull from the tower. A tower is my t nine, nine tower tokens. I do not have to discard a tower token. T it's day one. My team just got killed. Oh, this thing says that it can help me. I, I don't know. It's it's breaking me. It's the stress of everything going on. This was not how any of this was supposed to go. I, I'm not trained for this. I, I don't know anymore. Seven of spades? Uh, your intelligence was flawed from the beginning. Who made a critical error in preparing for this operation? Five again. 
<laughs> All right. Who made a critical error? Was it me? It could have been me. I... I did the prep work like everybody, but... It might have been me. I don't know. Maybe we didn't have enough resources. Maybe we just thought it was something simple. Maybe we didn't realize it was this... I don't know. Why? Why? Would they be alive if I had done a better job? If James had double-checked to make sure that we had the supplies we needed? If Richard had brought his the radio? If it was supposed to be a simple extraction? Why? Why did it go so wrong? How did it go so wrong so quickly? I don't know what else we could have done. Maybe this is... Maybe this is just where... We die. I don't know. 